Okay, so this is the rebreather, way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way out. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate, Captain. I know the weight is determinable, but soon, soon it'll be you and me. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. All right, ha, kids. Ha. Good you to go. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Just nope. remember the rules, please. Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post dive special. <laughs> Are you gonna bring your bang stick? <laughs> that front cabin is gonna pop its portholes. This is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan? You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested. Maybe my family can make an investment in your business. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh, it's getting mighty crowded out here.
Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. It's too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. You think it's gone right over your head until smack. You're out cold. That makes no sense. Take all the time you want. I'll see you later, Conrad. I hope so. Why do I keep these around? How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Yeah, well, uh, go easy on the booze. It doesn't mix well with high seas. That's how accidents happen. Roger that. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. So, how did you figure it out? Everyone was just looking at where the plane was headed. But I asked myself, where was the plane from? You know, where was that airbase? So I made some guesses based on that hypothetical return flight and I guess I guessed good. You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Got it. Hey, Fliss. Look, there's a boat. What's that about? They're like, coming right over to us. How should we handle this? This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? You see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot.
Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. dangerous uh ladies first can i just take a second to say holy shit alex we did it i mean can you believe it Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe is pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Fuck it. I'm just gonna go for it. something stupid down here that's it one chance you get that chill out i'm fine see no problemo this says it was a rescue plane launched from a u.s base they were on their way to help out a ship down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. something. Wow. 
What the hell happened here? From the look of things, they knew they were goners. You hear that? Let's check it out. Life gives you lemons. Ew. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Sharp. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. I, uh... What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know. I, I... Wanted to bring something up with you, but it's it's not the best time. It's on your brain, buddy. Nothing. Nothing. Just kind of shaken up by a little brush with a gruesome and meaningless death. It uh, doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Jeez, Alex. You're more of a wreck than that plane that just literally fell apart on top of us. Give me a break, okay? Come on. We've really got to get up top. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait. Julia. We got to decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is... What'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect.
You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish, both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say, or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Alex, you're like an open book with a 50-point font. I can read you from a mile away. Something's up. It's nothing. I'm oh, fine. bullshit. You're like Monsignor Mopington over here. Julia, are you happy? Well, yeah, of course. Why would you ask me that? I guess I'm just kind of anxious about, like, our future. You know? What's next? I guess I've just been worrying about things a lot lately. About us. Okay. Guess we'll just, uh, follow up on this later? I'm gonna go find Brad. And Conrad and Fliss. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. No, I'm good. Sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out. So, does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal, okay? Now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever, or else we're gonna go to jail. Well, my lips are sealed. So, we're going again tomorrow? Uh, yeah, it seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Relax, Brad. How many times do I have to tell you not to be such a wuss? Hey, 
Got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, sure, but you know, nothing like what Fliss is talking about. Tell us a tale. I don't know if Brad is really the scary type, you know? Well, don't get too confident. This is a pretty scary story. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time, smooth. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all chopped up into little tiny giblets with an ax. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet and says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside, but he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer, and he sees it's his own face. 
and then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Hey, old super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. I think he told it better last time. But good effort. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> 10 four, good buddy. And I'm out. I think so. Me worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? Don't worry. If they were gonna kill us, they would have done it already. I'm not just worried about being killed. Now. 
shit. It's no good. Come on. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Jesus, Conrad. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? No. But I'm, I'm sure he's fine. These guys probably just want money or something. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take him by surprise. Okay, they're coming. wait and see what they want to do with us. Got a gun. If we play our cards right, we can catch him by surprise. Take him out. Uh, 
We should just rush them. Take the gun. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I climb out the window, climb around the side, and hit them from there. We'll take them from the other side. Don't leave us here, okay? Okay, let's do it. This old junker. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? Gangster shit. I don't think you fully comprehend the severity of your situation, sister. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? 
You're all in this together. This is a trap, and you set us up. Yeah, yeah, so. What a cork in it. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. My, uh, my charter's been a little difficult. Not exactly going as planned. We're starting to have some serious problems. Hey, just be careful. Looking after number one. Real smooth. Great leadership, Fliss. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. We can't leave him down there. He could drown. We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out. Move. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> you appear to have saved somebody. A bold move that paid off. This time, but does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable? I dare say we'll find out, hmm? 
Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? You're going it alone. Independent. Admirable. Possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Keep moving! 